I have decided that my mission on this earth from now on is to revitalize this neighborhood. These neighborhoods have been fighting for their lives for generations, and they've gotten pretty good at it. 80% of the people in our country live in our largest metros. Now, the challenge is everybody wants to move here now. Yo creo que ese es mi sueño americano, como dicen, darles a mis hijos lo mejor, lo que yo no tuve en mi niñez. I feel like I love the city for reasons that no one else that loves the city loves it, you know? I have a passion for the neighborhood. I love to move out the neighborhood, but the Lord won't let me leave the neighborhood. I'm on assignment over here. For us to afford ourselves a middle-class opportunity is to have to take a bigger risk than our parents did and create something unique. And then, you know, people support that in this city. It's just a city, you know? Stuff is always happening. It's always good and it's always bad. And it gets challenging, you know, more and more all the time. We're competing in the world now, and we're losing. Not seeing a whole lot of things, but I dreamed about that picket fence a long time ago. But when I went to get that picket fence, it wasn't there for me. What hope do these families have? Very little. And so until we change the image and culture of this neighborhood, ain't nothing gonna change. Ain't nothing gonna change. When you're at the bottom, you have to be kind of scrappy. You have to be innovative and creative in order to make anything happen. My hope for the city is that we as a people can come together and really make the city better for everyone. This is my home, and I don't want to give it up, and I'm a fight. I may not win, but I'm a fight. Everybody struggles, and I feel like the only way we're ever going to make this a place worth living in is to change it from the grassroots, because we can always move away. So you might as well make your home, your place, your community a better place to live. This is where it starts.